all right guys welcome back to a brand new video it is Def king here now in today's video i'm actually going to be pushing roblox studio to the limit so you guys know all roblox games are made in roblox studio right but in roblox studio okay there's things called an anchored and an unanchored part now basically what the difference between an anchored and an unanchored part is is an anchored part will stay in its position and an unanchor will fall so as you can see here i'll run the game all right so this part's anchored as you can see it's not falling down it's staying in, in here even when the game is actually running right now if i were to unanchor it what would happen is it would just fall like pretty simply right so basically these right here are all unanchored parts now what i want to do is actually keep spawning them and spawning them and spawning them until my roblox game literally just crashes okay i also have a lot of other fun things i want to test so it's gonna be super cool i'm excited to see really just how far roblox can last i also have an fps counter down here in the bottom right so we can see my fps when things get tricky right now it's at 60 which is good but we'll see what happens later on down the line so yeah i'm super excited be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the video also youtube tells me that 80 percent of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel which is insane so subscribe Subscribe right now that we don't miss out on any other future videos just like this one all right let's get started all right so right here we have a hundred parts as you can see in a 10 by 10 format now i'm gonna go ahead and put these all in the sky and see what happens whenever we run the game all right so here we go run uh oh is it already crashing oh okay <laughs> it's kind of funny how they all just like bounced in unison and they all like turned at the same time too okay well that was that all right um let's go ahead and try 200 parts or actually let's try 500 all right, so we got to duplicate it five times. All right, now as you can see, that's 500 parts right there. Honestly, I'm assuming some lag right now. It's going to get bad. <laughs> I don't think Roblox is really meant to handle this kind of stuff, but we'll see what happens. All right, so run. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so it worked. Um, my frame count definitely dropped a little bit. I felt it, but I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. So I mean, it definitely can still run this, which is pretty cool. All right, so right now we're going to do a thousand parts. Right now, what I want to actually do a little bit too is kind of offset these so that way they sort of like bounce. Like I don't know, I don't know how to make that make sense. But I want to like basically offset these so that way they kind of bounce on each other when they fall. So I'm just gonna like kind of move them around a little bit on uh, each axis right here, and that should work good. So just like a little bit like you know different. That way, whenever they fall they'll have more of like a, a chance to move you know what i mean all right anyways so that's 500 still okay i didn't add any new ones but i just you know moved it around but now i'm actually gonna make it a thousand so i just duplicated it and now we're at a thousand parts and actually i'm gonna turn off shadows because it's gonna get pretty hectic if i just have shadows on so let me do that real quick all right there we go shadows are off so that'll probably help with a little bit of the lag because um it, it gets pretty laggy whenever you have a bunch of parts casting shadows like that so yeah okay now that shadows are off i can duplicate it and put it up here so as you can see we have a thousand parts now all right so let's go ahead and see how this works i'm honestly expecting quite a bit of lag here but we'll see what happens all right so run uh oh oh <laughs> okay so as you can see it was quite laggy um my frames definitely dropped a little bit i'll zoom in on that but as you can see it, i mean it, it worked though i mean it didn't crash my studio it wasn't too bad so i mean i would call it a success now as you can see <laughs> it's funny how they just all like you know are like you know everywhere but yeah it's funny but anyways yeah that's that so it worked um that's cool all right, so right now we have a thousand parts. I'm gonna go up to two thousand five hundred. Okay, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll see what happens. All right, that's two thousand. All right, and that's two thousand five hundred. Okay, so that is a lot of parts, guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see this. Oh my gosh, it's like it, it's in like uniform. My frames are at five FPS right now. It's so laggy. Oh no. Okay. All right. So as you can see, Roblox is quite crashing now, but it's okay. It's not the end. What we're gonna do now is actually turn our graphics down a lot on Studio and in the game. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in real quick and turn my graphics down. That way, it kind of keeps it like that. All right. There we go. Graphics. See, my graphics are at max, and so I'm putting them at nothing, and it looks so bad. But it's fine because we'll leave it like that. And then also, we're gonna go up here to our Studio settings. We're going to go to graphics, rendering, and then we're going to change the quarter level right here. As you can see, it's 01, changing the edit quarter level to 01. Now, as you can see, it looks a lot like worse, but that's fine because that's what we want it to look like. All right, so now that's good. Let me move these back to the workspace. All right, cool. Now it's time to go and test this out again. So here we go. Let's see if we get any less lag. Actually, let's go to 5,000 parts though. Uh, screw it. Okay, I just duplicated all that. That's 2,500 parts. Then we have 5,000 thousand parts oh no dude this i can already tell the lag is gonna be real <laughs> look when i walk away far enough it just doesn't even render it in because my graphics are so low anyways let's go and test it out real quick see if this works um graphics are lower so hopefully it doesn't lag as much but it'll probably still lag a lot i mean it's five thousand parts but yeah here we go all right run oh no oh my gosh oh my dude they're like it's like an elevator <laughs> they don't even like fall like oh my gosh okay all right well as you can see uh my frames are at five fps right now this is basically 
basically, you know, the, as far as I can push it. I mean, if I go any farther, my entire studio is just going to crash. But we're going to try it anyways. All right, so yeah, I'm not going to let this load, but I'm going to go ahead and go to like 50,000 parts and just let my studio crash. I want to see what happens. All right, so this right here is 5,000 parts. Let me name that. And then I'm just going to put it all the way up to 50,000 parts. And actually, I'm going to start putting them like a little bit of a square. So there we go. So that's 5,000. Oh my gosh, dude, it's already laggy even in studio right now. Another 5,000. Wait, where did my base plate go? Oh, it didn't render. <laughs> my graphics quality is so low that I want to walk away from my base plate. It doesn't render. That's funny. So that's 20,000 parts right here. I'm going to go ahead and make that just 40,000. I guess that's that'll be good enough. Oh my, I just duplicated it and I'm already like lagging so bad. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Dude, I'm not even, I'm lagging in studio and I'm not even, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is definitely going to crash. I want to test the AIs, see how many AIs I can have running at once, and see if they can all do the maze at the same time. I'll explain that in a second, though. Dude, I'm lagging so hard. Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. Let's stop. When you move them all at once, that's why it's so laggy, I think. And then imagine them all moving at once when this game starts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that's not very really lined up well, but it's fine. That right there is 40,000 parts, okay? Now we're going to hit run. I'm almost definitely going to crash. We're at 60 FPS right now, which is nice, but when the game runs, it's going to crash. Anyways, here we go. Run. Oh, no. Okay, I'm at uh, my studio crash. Oh, no, no. Okay, we're at 9 FPS, 5. Uh, I don't know how it's 5 FPS. I'm getting literally less than that, definitely. But as you can see, I mean, they're falling. My, my studio is not very responsive. <laughs> um, But, hey, it works. I mean, I, I can't be too mad, right? Uh. These aren't even hitting the ground yet, I don't think, dude. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Okay, yeah, as you can see, um, do not go over maybe 2,000 parts unanchored. I don't know why you would anyways, but, you know, that's just how it works. But yeah, if you wanted them, if you're wondering, like, if it was anchored, it'd still work. If it was anchored, it'd, it'd be fine, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. But since they're all unanchored and moving, it has to render all that at the same time, so it gets pretty difficult, you know? But yeah, anyways, so that's interesting, that's how that works. I'm gonna go and delete these parts now, though, we don't need them anymore. And now I'm gonna go on to the pathfinding NPCs. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in one of my videos, I actually made this NPC right here, which basically solves this maze with pathfinding service, okay? Now, here's the code if you want to see it. It's pretty simple, but basically all it is, it, it creates a path and then it goes through it. All right, so as you can see, you hit run, it starts plotting the path. Basically, all it is is just a little path, and then it'll just go through the entire maze with pathfinding service. So it's pretty cool, right? You get this NPC, you can do an entire maze for you. And since it's a computer, you know what I mean? It's pretty smart. It can test out every single possible direction really, really fast, and then it does it and it already knows where to go. So it's gonna come all the way to right here to this part. Now it'll take a while, so I'm not gonna run this whole thing, but you get the point. All right, now what I wanna try is spawning a bunch of these. All right, now instead of using the maze, I actually built my own little maze, and it's not really a maze, but it's basically just a way to filter through the people. And now as you can see, it's pretty simple. You can figure it out yourself, I'm sure. You basically just go through it pretty simply, and then you come to the end. But basically, I made this like all like, you know, I made the design so that way it kind of split up people. All right, so let's go ahead and make the movement speed of this guy a little bit higher because we don't want to wait forever. So I'm going to change his walk speed to, uh, I'll say 50. All right, now if we go ahead and hit run, it'll start playing the game. Now as you can see, he's going through the maze pretty fast. He goes through the fastest way, and... Boom, we made it. Now, what we're going to do is spawn in five of these guys and see what happens, okay? <laughs> I'm excited, actually. All right, so we got this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really build this super symmetrical because I'm not a good builder. So, if they all, like, go one way, then that means I messed something up, obviously. But it doesn't really matter because the, the point's still the same. They go through it. All right, now, as you can see... Oh, okay, okay, cool. All right, now, they do it pretty fast. No lag at all, too. I'm not lagging. I actually put my graphics back to max. Actually, no lag at all. That was pretty nice. Um, wow. Let me actually turn my graphics back to max, though, because it looks kind of ugly. Oh, 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 gosh. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me, let me put my graphics back to max. All right, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and try with 10 people. All right, as you can see, we got these all here. Duplicate, and boom. All right, let's see what happens now. This is going to get so good. I can already tell. Okay, and still really no lag. I mean, my FPS is 60 still. I'm chilling. So yeah, that was pretty nice. All right, so I think we need to up it up a little bit faster. We're going a little bit too slow here. We need to go to, honestly, I say 100 people. Now, imagine just playing a game and seeing all these guys marching at you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to need to make this little back room a little bit bigger. All right, actually, let's go and try 50 dummies, though. All right, that right there is 50 dummies. We have, we have from 10 to 50. So let's see what happens. Oh, I feel like we're lagging. No, no, honestly, the FPS is kind of dropped. But I mean, they're still doing it just as good as I thought. So yeah. Uh, a few of them got stuck. I don't really know what happened there. Uh, guys, you, you guys good? <laughs> I'm not really too sure what happened here. Uh, I think they got the wrong ending part. I don't know what they're doing, honestly, but who cares? All right, but that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and go for the 100. I think it's going to crash. I don't know what's going to happen, honestly, but let's try it. All right, that is a 100 people right there. Literally an army, okay? <laughs> I'd be scared of this if I saw this running at me, okay? All right, so let's go and test that out. And, wait, actually, since it was already lagging, I'm going to go ahead and put my graphics back down. Okay, wait, graphics. Okay, there we go, there we go. 
All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and run. Oh no, I'm lagging. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm at eight frames, but I mean, I can still move and I can still see him. Oh no, there's like a traffic jam. Dude, there, there was a traffic jam. Oh, one got out. Yo, what, what happened over here, guys? Oh, he's going around? Oh no. Oh, they're moving. They're moving slowly. Okay. There's a whole traffic jam. This is not good. If I move this wall, I'm pretty sure they'll move. Oh, no. They're still... I think they're stuck inside of each other. I think that's what it is. Oh, they're going. Some of them went. Okay, it's a little bit too laggy for me now. I'm going to go ahead and end this and see what else I can do to make it better. Okay, so it was pretty laggy. Let me go ahead and try turning Cancolite off for these guys. But I'm pretty sure all that's going to do is actually make it so they can go through walls, I think. So let me go ahead and just try it though and see if, what, uh, see if that does happen. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, no. They actually don't go through walls. Okay, that's good. All right, so that means I can actually make it so they have Cancolite off and that'll hopefully stop a little bit of the lag. All right, there we go again. Back at a hundred army members <laughs> all right let's go ahead and run all right but actually 100 is kind of lame we already did that before let's go ahead and go to 200 oh no oh no all right that's 200 right there dude these guys are like hugging the wall too all right here we go though okay i'm assuming a crash for sure oh no it's so laggy no yeah okay this is essentially broken dude and they still get stuck actually i'm not sure why they're getting stuck because i mean can't collide's off but that's kind of strange honestly but yeah they, they they they're stuck it doesn't really work um i'm pretty sure obviously you could still make a move like uh if you mean had a bigger map and they didn't get stuck but obviously at about 200 moving humans like this it seems like the game starts to lag really bad so yeah that kind of sucks okay well that was honestly a really interesting video guys if you want to see another one like this if you have any ideas that you want me to test be sure to comment it down below and i might actually do another one like a part two to this video all right anyways be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video it helps me out a lot also subscribe that way you don't miss out on any other future videos related to roblox development like this one and also if you want me to do this again i might do a part two so comment any ideas you want me to test out in the comment section below but yeah it's been it be sure to use code tap whenever you buy robux and i'll see you guys in the next one peace